Oh, hi, Mark. Well, hey there. In today's video, we're going to be chatting about what games I've played, how I got to where I am. Now, I'm Nergy if we haven't met. I've been streaming for a good nearly five years, and I've gone through a lot of different games, and I would like to break down for you why it has taken an impact on the stream that I've built. Well, let's get to it. The first game that I played for a long time, a long time, is uh, Dota 2 and or Heroes of New Earth. Either way, Heroes of New Earth came first. Uh, it was the direct descendant of Dota, the original Warcraft 3 map. And I played that game for a good three solid years, streaming it intermittently. I don't have stats for how long I streamed it, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's what I played for a long time. Got kind of burnt out on the whole MOBA scene. Very salty and toxic. If you've ever played it, you do one thing wrong. It's fucking another. Did you even see me say I'm happy to play any fucking role? The whiny little bitch. Angry. Some angry individuals out there. But I ended up estimating somewhere around 1500 hours on those sorts of games. Uh, Dota 2 included, but these days, it's a little hard to commit to that much time. A half hour to a two hour game. Sometimes they reach about two hours. And just, I, c I can't commit to that anymore simply because I'm a full time worker, not streaming nearly as much. So I'd get one or two games in and then I'd be done for the stream. So I kind of moved away from those uh, as that sort of impacts my mood if I have two shit games and it's a shit stream for me. But anyway. Moving on. I used to play a bit of Darkest Dungeon. Very nice indie game. And uh, it, it was a very unique game. Now, it's also very replayable because it's randomized each time. It's randomly generated, but it's very unique, very well made, nice mood, really good music. And the gameplay was actually quite fun. For an indie game, bloody beautiful. Nice. And I played this for a good nearly 300 hours. I actually beat the game on the on the hardest difficulty. However, this was before any DLC was released for it. So that made things a little more difficult once there was DLC. I never ended up finishing the expansions. Pretty sure I party wiped and it cried slightly. And so I just didn't have the heart to start a hardest difficulty run again. So it kind of killed, killed the vibe there. But that was a very fun game. You could name your... Name your subscribers up or your viewers after uh, after characters within the game, and they'd get attached to them, and then they'd cry also when they died. But uh, yes, that was a good game. Next up, uh, I played Hearthstone for a long time. Now Hearthstone's a card game. If you haven't seen it, it's free to play. Uh, there are a lot of expansions at this point, and it's it's a good game. It's a solid game. It's been around for a while now. Couldn't tell you how long, but ended up playing probably more than 500 hours of that. Part of why this game drew me in initially was the collection aspect. Now, I love to collect everything when I'm playing a game. I'll try and 100% it if I can. Hearthstone, I was, I was free to play. I was collecting everything I could, getting all the cards, getting them gold and sexy. And then they changed it up on us. It was a sad day. It was a very sad day. They introduced the wild format and then half your cards couldn't be used anymore and so I was just like, oh why did I even bother collecting all these if they're just going to make them completely unusable in the normal format. That and, you know, I played a lot of it, I got a little bit burnt out on it. All your verse was the same bullshit every time. <laughs> Stop looking at me, swan! But that's okay, I did get to legend. Yes. So that's good. Now, I stopped playing that. Started playing Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac. Or Enter the Gun. A little bit of a combo here. Binding of Isaac. I 100%ed. Now, if any of you have played Binding of Isaac, it's an indie game randomly generated each time. Quite fun. Quite bloody fun. And I 100%ed the game, which meant I had to beat a run without taking a single hit, which was pretty hard. And I beat that, and then I was doing Eden streaking. So completely randomized starts, 
and trying to link back to back to back victories. I think I got to 50 something wins in a row. Then I died and I was like, yeah, I'm bored now. Actually, I got to 777 hours played in that game, which is quite unique. What a good number. I like it. But nah, moved away from that. Into the Gungeon was also great. Similar style. A little bit different. Everything's bullets and guns. It's guns. Guns that fire bullets. And there's a gun that's a bullet that fires guns that shoots little bullets. I mean, if you need to know more, look the game up. It's great. Well, great. Right. <laughs> I dabbled, I've, I've dabbled with lots of different games, I've, lots of single player games, lots of RPGs, all sorts of stuff. The Dark Souls series, oh baby. Now one of the more unforgiving titles and series in existence, alongside Wings of V. Oh yes, thank you, the you fucking bitch. Not quite as bad as them, but still hard. Very, very hard. And simply, they, they dump you into the game and they tell you nothing about it. It's just like, okay, cool. You can beat the game like that, but you do actually need to learn a little bit about it before you can really beat the game, or at least make it easier on yourself. Now, this was a very, very fun series, but I never found it to be something I would want to replay. I don't know why. It just didn't, didn't grab me by the hojos and... Pump me into submission. Sekiro, another Dark Souls-esque game. A little bit different combat-wise, but also very enjoyable. I put probably 60 hours into each one of them, and I mean, I loved them all. They were all great. But yeah, not not my sort of game to replay over and over again. Um, a little bit too buggy for my brain. Now the real, uh, the real maestro, the real one that gets me going, and that also still makes me sad is Blood Bowl. Now I played this game, I was streaming five days a week, I played this game for thousands of hours. Disgustingly fun, really good game. Like you build it, it's, it's medieval football but you can murder each other and that's kind of the aim of the game is to murder each other's players and win. I mean, you're meant to try and score the ball like American football, but anyway, great fun, great fun. The only problem is the combat is, well, no, not even the combat. Every aspect of that game has RNG built into it. Random number generator for you, for you lot that don't know what RNG is. RNG, this was the reason I stopped playing Blood Bowl. More specifically, Blood Bowl 2. I didn't actually really play Blood Bowl 1 because it was a dead game. Blood Bowl 2, everything is random. So whether or not you can pick up the ball is a d6 dice roll. Whether or not you can throw the ball, catch the ball, punch someone else, blah blah blah. It's all, it's all random. You can be the best player in the world, roll complete shit, lose all of your best players permanently, cannot get them back, and there's nothing you can do about it. I think it was because I was streaming it five days a week, that's all I was playing. I burned myself the hell out. I was a salty, salty little bitch by the end of that that game's life cycle for me. It still makes me a little bit, you know, makes me want to hurl, sorry. Anyway, good game. Don't put thousands of hours into it unless you like, you know, inflicting torture on yourself. But that brings me to what we're moving on to. Now, I'm still gonna be streaming two days a week, more specifically in the PM. So from about 5 PM until maybe eight or nine or 10. For two nights of a week, the uh, the schedule is on Twitter, so go check it out. Make sure you uh, follow all the socials, like that button, you know. What we're moving on to is Dungeons and Dragons. Now I've played D and D for a long time. If you don't know what it is, it is it's been around for forty five years. It's an RPG, a role playing game that you can play anyone you want to embody. You can do anything within reason. Uh, within this world and it's it's a great group experience it's really good um, a lot of people don't get a lot of time with other people in person you know and this is a great community sort of thing it's storytelling it's blood and gore you can also find sweet loot fart around you can be morons you'll forge memories that you'll have forever and 
that's what we're going to be moving into. Now I am handwriting a series, a, a campaign more specifically, for my players to play in. You can you can get pre-made modules for, for campaigns that people can play through and it's got all the maps, it's got all the characters and loot and stuff, but I'm making my own and it's a lot of work. Now I'm really excited about it and I don't know how it'll go, I don't know how my community will receive it, but so far I've I've gotten so much support, everyone's been great about it. And I can't wait to get started. Now the start of next year, or maybe you're watching this in the future? Start? I don't know. Either way, starting on the 6th of January 2020, Sunday, it's going to be great fun. So that's where we're moving on to. It's going to be once, maybe once a week, maybe once a fortnight, we'll see how it goes. It's, it's a big feat, but it'll be great to have the boys around every week. Forge, forge ahead, make some stories, make some memories. So if you have any interest whatsoever in Dungeons and Dragons, or if you're just curious and you want to find out what it's like, come along and watch. I'm putting a lot of effort in, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I, f I figured I'd just give you guys a little update on what I've played in the past, why I stopped playing it, and where I'm going in the future. Now, I wouldn't be here without my beautiful Nurgling crew. You know who you are, you fucking legend! That just busts out of me. The bogan comes out every now and again. I really, I really would not be here without without you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, come follow the Twitch, the Twitter, the Facebook, Instagram, Discord, all the things, and uh, see you guys soon. Keep your eyes peeled. Remember you